Welcome to the Nexus Podcast with Heather and Jimmy, your breakdown of the all the important news in the world of Blizzard Entertainment. We are available at nexuspodcast.com um, and available on all major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, etc. Hashtag Nexus Podcast to follow the conversation. Uh, and all old video episodes are up on youtube.com slash DJ Tyrant. And uh, check us out on Facebook. Search Nexus Podcast and uh, also on Discord. Episode 19, here we are. Yeah. Um, not a whole lot to talk about this week, right? Nothing no, major nothing. happened. Nothing, nothing major happened. happened. Nope. nope. So, <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just dive right into it with yeah. This Week in Geek. Um, I feel like I'm, I could talk the entire episode. You totally could. About Shadowlands because it's really fun. Lot. But uh, first of all, I want to thank Garrett, Hostile G-Force. If you're involved in the Heroes of the Storm community at all, you... You probably don't recognize the name, but he did a lot of stuff behind the scenes, and it's really awesome. He's become a good friend of mine. Um, he actually gifted me a Stream Deck Mini from Elgato, so I'm, like, super happy about that. And we're using it tonight, and it's making my life so much easier. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, it's very yeah, fancy. I've, and I've only just scratched the surface with this. I know there's all sorts of macros, and you can do some super fancy stuff with it. So Yeah. Thank it's you. It's pretty. Um, yeah, I played a lot of Shadowlands. And more thought, Shadowlands. I thought you were like, I played with the deck a lot. I was like, well, you played with the, the deck thing a lot? Yeah, Shadowlands. You yeah, were late to picking me up one I, day. I streamed you're... a whole bunch of Shadowlands on my channel. And yeah, um, this is I actually list. hit level 60 a little bit over 24 hours after launch, which I was pretty happy with. Um, I was at like 55 on the first night. And I was like, oh, I could power through this and get to 60, but it would be like 4 or 5 in the morning. That's true. Uh, if I did that, so I decided to go to sleep, come back up, and... But you no, were on vacation. Really well. you I was totally technically could've. on vacation. I could have. It would have been fun. <laughs> you would have been suffering. I would have been yeah. pretty miserable. Um, so yeah, I'm happy I chose um, my covenant, Kyrian. Mm -hmm. Got through all that stuff for the first week. Got through all the content there. Did all of the mythic dungeons... Um, those other? are really cool. There are eight dungeons currently in game. Uh, I'm expecting more to come out though. Um, and I finished five of the six floors available on Torghast. There was one that was just a little too tough. I stayed up until like two thirty in the morning trying, and then I just was like, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm accepting this loss, and it's only a little bit of soul ash that I'm not getting. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, but other than that, I was super happy. I mean, through the whole leveling process and post leveling i actually got two boe epics Ooh. um and if anyone's played at launch of any expansion you know that those sell for a lot very early on in the expansion so i'm oh, up to about yeah. two hundred thousand gold right now so i'm super happy with where i am what'd you um, start with do you remember so i started the expansion with about eighty thousand gold but as oh, wow. soon as i hit 60 um I bought a lot of crafted gear because I didn't want to screw around in normal dungeons anymore. And I wanted oh. to get myself up to Mythic. heroic dungeons oh, heroic, or be able to queue for heroics. Mm -hmm. And so the, the big thing I spent money on was every ex expansion for, I, th I think every expansion has had this. There's, there's a trinket um, called the Darkman trinket. And there's four of them for all the different specs, uh -huh. physical DPS, tanking, healing, and... Um, spell DPS. Cool. Um, they're super expensive at the start of an expansion. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to get the DPS one for like 55,000 gold, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, that put me down to like 25,000 gold, and then I just sold a bunch of the herbs that I farmed up while I was leveling. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. If you want to like really get increase gold. your leveling and oh. also get some gold, um, Definitely take at least one gathering profession because you yeah. get experience for each herb you pick. And you were reminding me to go buy the what's the word I'm looking for profession updates like for the area. You're like go to yeah. meet Orbos, go do that. I was like, like it, thank it, you. It sends you to the mall first thing. You hit fifty one out of that. Mm -hmm. it sends you to Orbos. Go grab all your, your all your profession stuff there. If, yeah, if you still haven't leveled yet. That's what worked really well for me. Mm -hmm. um, there's another quest kind of like, um, I think they do all expansions where 
they give you a, an NPC to follow around the, the major city. Oh, yeah, like for a tour. Yeah. <laughs> for a tour. Um, yeah. Um, what else did you oh, do? Man, I've really been enjoying this. <laughs> you had a whole week of playing. I know. It, it's it's hard to like cram it all into one mm-hmm. section. Um, but yeah, the Mythics are really fun. And I'm excited to see how Mythic Pluses mm-hmm. um, end up playing out. So we only have one more week till we get to play Mythic Pluses. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited because, yeah, Castle Nyathra comes mm-hmm. out next week. The next reset, we have our first raid starting up. Oh, wow. Um, and then LFR is like two weeks after that. I don't know. Oh, I have to figure out my schedule and see if I can raid or not. But mm. Hopefully. No, I mean, there's always a, a guild that is raiding at a time <laughs> that you can. You just got to find it. It's just finding them, yeah. yeah. Um, if only there were like forums or something. Yeah. I know exactly. Forms and Reddit and Facebook and Discord, Discord and people, <laughs> Twitter. Stuff. Yeah, you can make. But friends. no, the, the the fun thing about just leveling up everything was seeing my whole friends list on WoW Active. and seeing everyone Aww. leveling up and seeing if I was going to beat someone else oh. to level sixty or competition. Not. Competition's kind of fun. Um, I'll be honest though, like. Mm. The second day into everything, I think it was because I had played like 12 hours straight. I felt a little like I had a little bit of FOMO because really? I hadn't done any heroics yet and stuff like that. Oh. And felt like really far behind, but you were totally far behind, babe. I, I know. was so disappointed. In but you. a couple of days later, I was already doing mythics. And yeah. I mean, that, that's the nice thing about having a girl is someone's like, oh, we're running a mythic. And I'm mm-hmm. just like, oh, I, just, I only have like 150 gear, 150 item level. But right when you were about to walk out the fine. door, you went and did a mythic, which is cool. This is, this is a true statement. I literally <laughs> was going to go pick her up for, we were seeing my grandparents. For dinner, yeah. Um, and, and you were super yeah. late, like and more was, than normal. I was like super late. Yeah. I warned you though, when I was supposed to leave, I was like, I am going in a mythic, but did I will you? be late. Did you? I did. I don't remember reading that. I but... did. Okay. I'll um, forgive you. Yeah. It was funny. Normally yeah. I'm late. Um, Like... Almost everything about it has been really good. I don't want to mm-hmm. spoil any of the story because it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will say, well, well, yeah, let me rank my the zones. I will say your favorite. Now, Draxos are probably my least favorite. Really? Um, because I feel like we just because it whole... felt super chaotic. Oh, absolutely. Um, although there is someone you meet in there, which is really awesome, and I'm not going to spoil it. Is it Draca? No, well, Draca we already know about. Okay. This is someone else. It's not else. Draca. It's not Draca who I'm talking about. Oh, see, I, okay. Um, hmm. And I always forget the name of the zone. Okay, I just remembered it as I was talking about. Revendreth is probably my favorite zone. Oh, yeah, Vampires. It's just, it's so well designed. Mm-hmm. Um, well, because every, every and, I think, yeah. programmer was like an inner goth at one point in their <laughs> yeah. life. So, so yeah, the I mean, fields I, are there. I, I scratched the surface on most of the zones. Um did Torgas and the Maw. The Maw is really interesting. I know it's really divisive right now, but once I learned that you can earn a mount that you can use in the Maw, I'm like, okay, like a couple months of not being able to mount in the Maw, I'm fine with that. It's not a huge deal for me. <laughs> but, mount in the Maw. Yes. <laughs> That's sorry. the name of the zone, okay? It's fun. Um, to be fair, though, I know people will take issue with this. But. Um, I'm a demon hunter, and so my my uh, movement abilities make it quite easy to move around. You are so to other, thrilled with that. Other classes, you like you say, I feel uh, so guilty, but I'm like, no, you're loving it. Don't don't even lie. Oh, I no, I yeah. do. Um, the mod is great, though. I I really like it. It's almost like a mini game of GTA, because like as you go through Grand uh, Theft Auto, yes, like Grand Theft Auto. So connect these dots for me. I'm going to just let me. <laughs> so. As you complete objectives and world quests and daily quests and quests for, uh, I forget the, the character's name that you meet in there, mm-hmm. um, Venari, um, you gain the attention of the jailer. And there are five levels that of, like you, PO of, jailer. Yeah, basically okay. PO jailer. And like one of them is mobs now um, attack you on site that were mm. yellow before. Ooh. Um, then there's ones where, uh, the next one I think is like assassins start coming after you. No, that, that's, oh, the, this is like the dungeon the, crawler. That's thing. the third level. Uh, the second level is 
um, the tower starts bombarding you. Mm -hmm. So you have to constantly be moving to avoid artillery fire, yeah. basically. And then the fourth one is these winged creatures come and pick you up and you have to kill them fast so they'll let you go. Like what they did to end doing. Bas yeah, bas <laughs> essentially that. Um, and you'll take fall damage from that. But mm -hmm. also, the longer you're in their grasp, the higher up the jailer hate rage or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. If, I'm sure there's a particular term for it, but you just pissed. Um, your uh, <laughs> your star rating, I would say. <laughs> that's, that's why I call it GTA because you're you, you build up the star rating. You can't get rid of it. It resets every day. Mm -hmm. um, but at the fifth level, you basically are ejected out of the maw. You cannot do anything else in the maw. You you can't gain any more. Uh, Stygia, which is the currency for Venari. Um, Stygia? It, that's what it's called. Okay. I don't know. The Blizzard has to come up with names for all these new currencies, and that's there's true. like thousands of names they've used before. I, I didn't research these before yeah. in the beta, so I'm like, these are the first time I'm really paying attention to it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, all that stuff together is really strong. And um, it sounds like a lot. It sounds super overwhelming. And it was at first for me when I hit 60, I was like, oh, what do I even do? Mm -hmm. um, the, the advice I would give if you're fresh at 60 or about to be fresh at 60 is follow your Covenant's uh, storyline because that will guide you through all these new systems as you go through them. And that's, that's how you unlock Torghast and stuff like that. It's just, it's just very, very well designed. Mm -hmm. um, and I know a lot of other people have talked about this as far as the, the narrative of the game. Mm -hmm. I think... Forcing everyone through the zones in a specific order has benefited the story quite a bit. See, and I was, like, thrown off for that at first. I was like, oh, I don't get to pick where I want to go. Mm -hmm. And I was almost, like, kind of excited to have that first, like, zone again. Um, but, okay. We'll see how it works. Yeah. Yeah, overall, I've been very Thrilled. happy with the game. Like, <laughs> and, and the other thing is, like, it, it doesn't feel like bad to miss a day like i took a day off from playing wow yesterday <gasps> no and i don't feel bad about it like you would definitely feel bad about it or i would feel bad about uh -huh. it like in legion and bfa because there was always like daily stuff to do like world mm. quests and stuff like that true um i mean i'm not missing out on anything by not playing yesterday which is awesome and I, feel, I feel like you just like went to therapy and seeing that. I, I know. <laughs> like, kind of is. I can now rest. I'm, the only negative I have is the negative that's existed ever since looking for dungeons happened. It's been around. DPS keys are still a giant pain in the butt. I know. I'm crying for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, overall, I really like everything. Um, yeah. And oh, also, yeah. the lack of Titan forging and all that crap. Mm hmm. I didn't realize how much that crap annoyed me because now okay. when you get a piece of gear, you're satisfied with it because there's nothing more that could be done to it. With Titan forging, you, you could find the same piece of gear over and over and pray that True. RNG would bump the item level up on it or something yeah. like that. Now it does technically kind of exist in a form um, through the quest items that you get from rewards um, mm -hmm. while leveling up. But that's good because that's not, those are not items you're going to keep around forever. Yeah, that feel that feels like a good implementation of that. Not at max level when that's going to like heavily really affect, affect you. your player. Yeah, exactly. Well, and this is like what the only the first week. Yeah, we're still only no eight days into now, or nine days in the expansion. You didn't say which covenant you picked. Oh, that's right. I re I'm looking at your notes. I'm like, what coven did you pick? Uh, I, I don't remember. Uh, Kyrian. Kyrian. That's the uh, Bastion Angels. Blue oh, okay. Angels. The Blue, Blue Angels. angels. <laughs> <laughs> no, cool. but their story is really cool. Um, the power, the powers that they have. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's kind of funny because you don't realize it, I think, the first time through. Because you get the powers through each zone for each covenant to test them out. Mm -hmm. Um I didn't realize that bringing out your steward as Kyrian, he gives you, or he or she gives you um, three health potions, and they're on a separate cooldown from other health potions in Hearthstone. Uh, oh. health, <laughs> Hearthstone. Hellstones. Yeah. So, that is really awesome. Okay, that's a perk. Yeah, it's a very nice perk. Um, and yeah, I'm 
happy I'm with happy. Carrie. I'm really happy with my choice. Cool. And I was all for you rambling about Storm, uh, Sh- Storm Shadowlands because I haven't played since Monday. I haven't played since we- I played a little bit. I got to like level 51, I think. I got to Ouroboros. Um, I found the profession peoples. I found the transmog. I updated my transmog. And then I logged. And I haven't been back on since. So while you don't feel guilty, I feel legit guilty. Um, <laughs> but uh, I I feel like with WoW, like I've been so hyped for all the stories and all the covenants and the lore, and I've I've avoided some uh, cinematics. And then there's like several people that I want to watch their opinions of like the Andu and Sylvanas chat. And then what happens? I don't. I haven't know. even gotten to that yet. I don't okay. know if that's. From, I don't even know if that's from this week. <laughs> The stuff that unlocks this week or I not? I know, but people are talking about it, and I'm like avoiding it. So I'm just I'm kind of in that spot where I feel like in a good book, you don't want it to end, mm-hmm. so you avoid finishing the last few chapters. And like I know I'm gonna love it. Um, well, the nice thing is that mm-hmm. Renown is capped every week, and that is required to progress your Covenant storyline. Okay. So it's like a slow burn with the Covenant storyline right now. That makes sense. Which is really nice. Okay, that that's a little reassuring, a little less guilty, but I also I'll be delayed. Yeah, but the, by that. the good thing about that though is there are catch up mechanics, so you don't you good. won't be like because we because we only got to the third covenant mm-hmm. level last week. We can get up to six this week. You you could get up to six this week because uh-huh. there are I don't know what the specifics are, but there are catch-up mechanic so that you are able to level that up a catch-up mechanic that's like my no MO. that's fine i'm not yeah. i'm not upset people about do that. people no, do I'm, but you don't no one should be upset about that <laughs> <laughs> um but i have been spending my week uh i finished watching season four of the crown that was good um and i've also been sucked into cult documentaries on netflix which is like kind of it's not a good thing to say i guess but man is it fascinating like cults are a thing um <laughs> I finished knitting a cowl. I actually finished knitting a thing, so I've been wearing that around the house. I didn't bring it with me, but I knitted something. Um, <laughs> and then today, before I came over to avoid doing show notes because I'm very productive, um, I put up all my decorations at home, my Christmas decorations. There you go. Um, and then, let's see, what else have I done? Oh, I did. I did do a thing that was nerdy. Um, I play D&D online again. Uh, I found a group on Roll20. And uh, we had our first game on Sunday last week. And I was actually supposed to come over and record with you. And I was like, I'll just play D&D. I'll be out like in a bit. Central time. I'll be no problem. We played for six hours. Six hours. I was like, thank God for breaks. Um, And I had snacks. I turned off my mic because I'm a nice person. (laughs) (laughs) But uh, yeah, I I played um, a half-orc paladin. And her name's Violetta or Violetta, or whatever it is. I, I don't care. Um, but one of our group mates, he actually is streaming the games on his Twitch channel. And he's also uploading them to YouTube. So we'll have like an archive of them. Uh, it's JT underscore Jet. And uh, so that's where I, like my big geeky thing of the week was, was playing D&D online again. And it's going to be a weekly thing. And I'm looking forward to it because it's just... It's fun to, like, get into storytelling. Um, and that's why I feel like with WoW, it's also, like, another dose of storytelling. Um, but that's, like, my geekiness is D&D and um, general Netflix and uh, chilling. Yeah. That's um, awesome. And I want to get into WoW. I will get into WoW. I have to, like, get into a mood and then I'll play for hours because I just I love WoW so much. But I can't just do, like, the random pop in, pop out type of thing because... I get you want to get sucked in. Yes, yeah. exactly. Just like with Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You want you want to um, fully immersed. Binge, binge. I want to binge. Well. Yes, I don't know why I can think of that. That's exactly um, what I do. Oh, other geeky things, mm. really quickly. Um, I'm a big fan of game shows, and <laughs> um, the last two episodes of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire were really good. There's, Ooh. um, they they're doing it interestingly. They're ha- having it so. A celebrity comes on, plays for charity, and then like a normal person comes on. Yeah. Uh, but they had David Chang, who's a really famous chef. Cool. Um, I really like him. Um, 
and I don't want to spoil it, but you just got to watch it. It is it is probably one of the it, it's up there in like the top moments of Millionaire. Oh, like it's really cool. That's cool. Yeah, so definitely check that out later. if you're interested in that. It's fun times. Um, Win the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so but, into the news, right? Yeah, into the news. Um, Catalan's launch. It was. It did mostly successful. Um, there were some servers that had issues. I heard. Um, but yeah. Um, personally, I didn't run into any no. serious issues. I mean, I had a, a disconnect here or there. Well, I was online the morning of it launching, and I was hanging out and everything like that. I mean, it seems like so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> but I was on, and I didn't log out, and I was hearing people complain in trade chat and everything else that people weren't having, are having a hard time logging mm -hmm. in. So yeah, the delays of getting onto your server was difficult, um, and there was some lag noticeable. Uh, oh, we couldn't get to Stormwind, remember? Oh yeah, Both the Stormwind, Stormwind instance server like completely took a dump. So I was able, <laughs> after like a dozen times going to like Dalaran and another expansion, to get to Stormwind, and then you wanted to go to Ice Cr no, uh, Iron Forge, and then fly into yeah. Stormwind to get to it. Yeah, yeah, and the servers were so, like, out of whack that it, it dumped me off the flight path, like, outside of Iron Forge. <laughs> and it, jumped, it dumped a whole bunch of us down there. It was so funny. Did you get damage? Uh, yeah, I took a bunch of fall <laughs> damage, but I, I, I thankfully didn't, didn't die from it. Yeah. But, um, but the, other than yeah. that, that was, like, the only hiccup. And then once that, was it 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock hit, we were it ready to go. It was 3 o'clock. Yeah. We were ready us. to log in. And yeah. No, it was cool, so we were hanging out on Discord, and then we were like, here, it's three o'clock. Where is it? And then the quest text pops up. Like, I think that's the coolest thing because, like, it used to be that servers had to go completely down and then come yep, back up for for launches. I know this has been a couple expansions that they've done this now, but it still like is cool to me that like they can just flip a switch and it activates exactly. and it's everyone gets the the quest to go to the new expansion. It's it's really cool. And, and as soon as we hit, like, as soon so. as like the quest started, I like turned off your Discord. I'm like, I'm not talking to you now. I know we we both were like, all right, we're just gonna enjoy this and go through the mod, go through the story. Exactly. Um, but there are some cool little tidbits I want to go through. We'll we'll take a look at Wowhead. Um, of what for Wow the, for, uh, yeah for diving Wow into the news. Okay. Uh, diving into a little bit of news. We can't cover every single little thing because there's, there's hundreds of things that have happened, mm -hmm. hot fixes and all that stuff. Go check out your favorite Wow resource for all those. Um, but this one. Um, made me very happy. Um, the Torghast upgrades from Venari uh, actually unlock account wide, so you only have to do them on one character, which makes me very happy. Um, if you don't know what these are, we'll go through a couple of them just so you understand it. Um, it's like you read my mind. I know. Uh, this vessel of unfortunate spirits. It makes it so your first death in Torghast does not apply to your death counter. So you have, um, I think, five deaths solo. Mm -hmm. And it scales up based on your party size. So this gives you a freebie, which is nice. Okay. Um, yeah, that's the other thing. I, I didn't really mention the details about Torghast, but um, it's almost like a hard mode dungeon yeah. plus Dark Souls. Um, it's a dungeon crawler. It's a dungeon crawler, and you get um, random upgrades throughout the experience. The experience mm -hmm. And they're only for that run. But you can get completely busted, and it's awesome when you're totally broken and can just destroy the dungeon. The RNG is in yeah, your favor. Yeah, the RNG is in your favor. Um, yeah, I mean, all of these can be unlocked um, and just make it easier for your alts to go through. So, yeah, I mean, I, I know a lot of content creators were like, the expansion was going to be alt-friendly, um, and it's very much true. For Torghast, at least. Um, for for Torghast, for everything else. And even for the leveling, uh, you don't have to go through the leveling again. I don't know if you saw that. Um, I did not. Well, I mean, you can choose. Here, I'll bring this up. Uh, it's called Threads of Fate. So when you go through with a new um, character, a new alt, um, you can choose to go through the storyline as normal, where it goes through the, the main storyline quest through the order of the... Um, zones, but you can also choose this um, Threads of Fate, where everything unlocks where you, you get to choose your covenant 
like right at the beginning oh, okay. and then go through I heard about this. whatever order you want to. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Now, um, okay, does it work for different factions? That's a good question. I do not know. <laughs> Cuz I made I forgot to mention I made a horde character with my character boost. Uh I made a Blood Elf mage mm-hmm. on your server with your Valpira. Did you ever get that Valpira level to no, she's like 43 or 45, okay. so she's close. Yeah. <laughs> I did do a thing with that, so that was fun. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there, there's a whole lot of stuff you can check out and look at. But what I find interesting mm. is that uh, World of Warcraft um, Classic? retail oh. is not the only thing in the news. Is We have a new patch that came out yesterday for World of Warcraft Classic, which sets up for uh, Naxxramas to be released, the final raid of Vanilla slash Classic. It actually comes out tomorrow. Oh. Um, I feel like the timing's a little weird, but I know there are a lot of players who play just Classic. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this will be perfect for them. Well, and it's not weird, because if anything, Classic's been on a regular schedule. It's, wow, mm-hmm. current that has been that cut off-kilter. Delayed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay that's neat so wait this is the last raid yeah this is the last raid for of classic, classic. Oh, so have they decided? i mean we're hoping we, we there's there's a lot of rumors in scuttlebutt about scuttlebutt. burning crusade Sorry. classic coming out okay um that seems to be the most logical thing with how successful classic has been um and i don't know if you know but there's an event coming up in like three months where Blizzard probably will announce things. Oh, Blizzard. <laughs> Blizz- See, Blizz- I, I understood that one quicker. BlizzCon Blizz- Line. Yeah, BlizzCon Online. BlizzCon Line. Did they really name it that? It's called BlizzCon Line. Did they name it that? It's called BlizzCon Line. I or is swear. that a fan base thing? BlizzCon. <laughs> BlizzCon Online or BlizzCon Line? BlizzCon oh, Line. Oh, they did. They it's- did the thing. February 19th and 20th. Okay, it's yeah. BlizzCon line. <laughs> I personally love it. Yeah, you do. Oh, <laughs> That'll be interesting to see. And that's actually yeah. really good timing, because then at the very least, you have a couple yeah. months before. Is that in February? It's in February, three months away. Oh, man. So I'm excited for that. That'll um, be fun. Yeah, I, mean, I guess the other WoW news to be aware of is... The raid comes out next week and that unlocks the first season and Mythic Plus dungeons and keys as well. For uh, for modern wow. Okay. I was like, wait, hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we went back and forth. A little bit, yeah. Um Well, let's talk a little bit about Overwatch League. Mm-hmm. Uh Overwatch and Overwatch League. Uh Overwatch completed that uh Symmetra event, so that's done and over. Um but uh, Overwatch League uh, is having their off season right now. If you follow any other esports or even traditional sports, you know the off season can be kind of fun to to keep track of, especially as uh, players move and get traded and dropped and picked up by other teams. But uh, Overwatch League, they did put up a page on their website for all the off season moves, and it's a giant list, and it gets updated regularly. So you can go over to OverwatchLeague.com and check it out. Um, I mean, we could go through every single one of these, but there's way too many to really even That's talk about. That's a lot. There are a lot of changes, but I want to highlight the the most interesting one for me is mm-hmm. the Soul Dynasty. Not Valiant. Not Valiant. <gasps> Valiant have been very Jenny. quiet. Valiant have been very quiet so far. I, since you shame. want to bring that up, they they, they, have, <laughs> they have two moves. They uh-huh. announced the departure of Apply Gig and McGravy, which I'm sad about, mm-hmm. but. It is what it is, um, and they signed um, a player, Adam, who mm-hmm. I've never heard of, but I think he's from uh, Contenders. Okay. So they've only had one player, so they still have a lot of movement that they need to have on their roster. Mm-hmm. But the big one for me was Soul Dynasty picked up, well, they, they, they dropped a lot of players, but they also picked up Animo and Sabioli from New York XL. Sorry, the names are the best and the worst. I love it. Well, we usually call him SBB, but I I just decided <laughs> to I decided to read his full name because that's it? hold on. 
Maybe I'll be. How? Okay. That has to be another language thing, right? Oh, yeah. It's Korean. Um, oh, okay. That makes so much yeah. more sense. Okay. He's the player who brings his wife's picture with him every time. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's him. going to the Seoul Dynasty. Oh. Uh, Seoul Dynasty did come up uh, second place in Overwatch League this year. So they're looking to hopefully get over that hump and, and win uh, win the Overwatch League this year. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, Seoul Dynasty looks extremely strong just based on paper alone. But, okay. I mean, that seems to happen every year with Soul Dynasty. I mean, even first season, everyone was like, Soul Dynasty is going to be the team to beat. And they kind of... Dropped the ball that one year? Kind of, yeah. I mean, not as bad as Shanghai, but... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's kind of all the, Overwatch the news, really, for Overwatch. is just mm-hmm. a lot of movement there. Um, some minor tuning and adjustments of um, balance stuff. But... Um, yeah. I think we're we're mostly just waiting for BlizzCon Online. Are they going to have a tournament during BlizzCon Online? Uh, yes. That was something that um, the commissioner of Overwatch League actually, actually came out with a video recently and talked about that. There is going to be um, some sort of... Online version of um, it? Who do now? Like, well, no. It's not going to be Overwatch League. Uh, it's going to be more like the the thingy with the the, the city, the world. All stars. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm like I'm seeing just yeah, white it's, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's kind of just be a a fun little show match yeah. between players. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming that means that we're gonna have have them playing Overwatch two, and not Ooh. Overwatch one. That'd be fun. All right. I mean, that's my assumption. That'd be really yeah. fun. Um. Yeah. yeah, moving on though, as far as Diablo, um, like we talked about last week, season 22 is live. Make sure to check that out if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Um, we're kind of just waiting for more updates on Diablo 4 and yeah. updates on Diablo Immortal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want it on my phone. It would be fun. We, we played it. It was a lot of fun. I didn't play it at BlizzCon, though. I regret not doing that. Wait, you didn't play it? I did not play it last BlizzCon. I thought it was the same thing, and then Derek told me Well, no, you was. played it two years ago, right? Yeah, but I didn't okay. play this last BlizzCon. I didn't play it, it last year either. Stuff. I, I didn't play it last year either. <sighs> Sorry, I prioritized either. playing Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2, okay? We did. We, did. <laughs> we missed out, though. We did. It'll be out soon. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. I, I think it's supposed, I look at the camera. I think it's supposed to be testing this year, though. Like, it's been testing for a like while. Like beta. Like public beta. Public beta is different. I know. We'll see. Blizzard. Okay. Um, <laughs> Starcraft. <laughs> Starcraft, there's been some minor, minor bug fixes. Um, not too much else there. I know mm. there's some GSL stuff happening. So check Liquipedia for that if you're interested in Starcraft esports. Yeah. Um, Hearthstone. We did see the Hearthstone team highlight a bunch of the uh, Grandmasters at the, that are coming to the World Championship, that have qualified for the World Championship of Hearthstone Grandmasters. Eight players with half a million dollars at stake. Um, yeah, here's the Wikipedia for it. There's uh, $200,000 for first, 100000 for second, and 50000 for third and fourth. I just, this is the first time looking at Liquidpedia. And it's Liquipedia. A, Liquipedia. Yes. It's amazing. This is so concise. Yeah. No, it's it's been the esports resource for a long time. Wow. Uh, but yeah, Hearthstone, Gra- <laughs> Hearthstone Grandmasters is coming up on December 12th and 13th. How long has this website been a thing? Oh, this has been a thing for... Uh, yes. Because I'm, I, like I was always confused. Fifteen every time. years, really? I don't know. This, yeah. this like directory Wikipedia of yeah. it. Yeah, I look like Brood War. <gasps> what? It's organized, and there's yeah. dates and times organized and links. Organized and dates and stuff. I mean, not to toot my own horn here, oh. but oh my god, oh you're on there. I have my own Wikipedia page. Oh my page. god, we have to put a picture up there for you. I know. Well, we'll put it up. Can someday. I do the? Do you? Can you do? That I cannot. Do I cannot personally. So put I it can up. create an so account for you. So someone else, if you are listening and would like to update my page on the heroes Liquipedia, I could do that. You can do that. I could be like biography, best girlfriend ever, is Heather. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And so you can see all the event, oh. like all the major events I casted. And we forgot to mention this weekend, Geek. You're in a video. Oh yeah. We got it. We got it at the oh end, I guess. Who was it? What's the video? 
Uh, the Score Esports put out a top 10 memes from yes. esports. Dank memes. Dank memes, no less. And uh, you were at the very end I was at the very end. I was kind of kind of an unsaid uh, Homage. Uh, special nomination or something yeah. like that. I wasn't in the top 10, but... But your staying um, tight was mentioned. Josh, who did that, he's he's uh, he so was friend. heavily involved in Heroes, so... That was super fun. That was his throat. And I also have to say, he did... Um, allude on Twitter to doing <laughs> a a pro allude, okay. a, a allude uh-huh. uh, to a project he's doing. For, uh-huh. I'm assuming for Score Esports. He said it made him really sad, so I'm assuming it's about the history of Heroes Esports. Oh, so I'm gonna yes. well when that comes up, we'll we'll talk about it on the yes, show. Yes, sure. absolutely. Because there's um, still a big fan base for it. That is probably the most. There actually thing. is a decent fan base for it. It's coming um, back. It, it is growing a little bit, I feel like. I feel like there's a lot more people talking about it on social media and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, well, you know, and at CCL, me. we talked about this last week. Yeah. That's still ongoing if you are interested in competitive Heroes, Heroes of the Storm. We kind of just transitioned into Heroes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Transitioning into Heroes. Um, the biggest thing is the new patch went live this week, which includes... What, what hero came, Jimmy? Hogger. <gasps> Hogger? <laughs> Hogger hero. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. Um... And the, the big thing, and this will be huge for competitive players, I know the Gladiator's Medallion is no longer a thing. That was... Um, is that the that? mount? No, oh. this is... Um, so what they've been doing um, since the scaling back of Heroes of the Storm uh, is each Storm League season, they've kind of been given the okay, the green light, to kind of experiment with things. Um, whereas when HGC was... Oh, they, they had to structure. really yeah. be careful about balancing stuff. So this exactly. they're kind of able to go a little while. They gave, basically gave everyone um, a trinket that broke you out of crowd control. Oh. That you just oh, had. This is like in World of Warcraft. Yes. There's it's like in World of Warcraft. PvP. Yes. Exactly. I know things. <laughs> so you had that. And I know, I know a lot of pro players did not like it. The medallion? Yeah. Oh, of course not. Because it makes it unreliable. Yeah, I mean, it makes it so that your abilities are useless. But oh, now, okay, with the CC, with the, the CC removal, was that every game or like was it on a timer? Oh, it was every every game, but it had a cooldown, like two minutes or three oh, minutes or something yeah, like that. that. So, I mean, you had to like figure out the timing on it or it whatever. Was like real life PvP. Uh, yeah. Story. Pretty much. Um, the other big <laughs> thing um, I know that will be interesting for players to deal with um, is Stormling now will uh, matchmake with your party with the highest MMR player. So if you're playing with like some pro player, it's going to match you up against a bunch of pro players. Oh no. Um, no matter what you your Overwatch. Um, no. So what heroes and Overwatch have tried to do yeah. is they basically take an average of your rating. Yes. And try to match that up with an average on the other team. Yes. But then so, when I play with you guys, like you and our friend. Yes. I, I'm terrible and I just drag our average down. It still doesn't matter because I'm just that bad. Like, does Storm League accommodate? The, uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't now. It's still just the highest? Yeah. Oh. That's that's stressful for me. I don't, I'm know, I don't know if this is... Well, you don't play Storm League. I That's don't. the competitive oh, part okay. of Oh, okay. This isn't quick match. Okay, there we go. This doesn't apply to you. <laughs> cool. And I'm fine with it. Whatever they want to do. Cool. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Does it affect you? Are you that no? I I haven't played Heroes in like I don't know how long. We're such good fans. We're such good fans. We have jobs. I only have time for one or two Blizzard games. I'm sorry. It's hard. It's really hard. Especially when I put in like sixty hours into Warcraft in one week. Um, Did you really? (laughs) We (laughs) not. Wait, didn't we check the time? Like the slash whatever. Oh, my slash played it at 60 is already like 30 or 40 hours. <laughs> yeah. You were on vacation. Yeah. I, yes. <laughs> I was on vacation, so I was not neglecting my Duties responsibilities of, of working you were and earning money. Yep. Uh, and I saw you on Thanksgiving and I saw my grandparents. We did socialize. So mm-hmm. it wasn't completely Permit. no life. Yeah. You were not the, uh, <laughs> the, the was, oh, what's the South Park? He uh, who has no life. That was not you. That was not me. That was not you. Although we're friends with him. We are the real life version of that. 
Who we saw just log into WoW, actually, on Battle.net. Yeah, that's actually funny. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Um, it was kind of like a light week besides Shadowlands coming out. Yeah, I was surprised at how little news yeah. there was compared to last week. If anything, it was just more of like upping the dates of stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess scooching on over to my section of the yeah. podcast. IRL loot. Um, yes. Okay, really quickly. What? Just you for buy? your edification. I haven't bought anything. Oh. No, I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, That's Black not entirely Friday. honest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Black Friday we bought a bunch of stuff. Mm. Um, I have been told by people who listen to the podcast <laughs> that they really like this segment. Good, me so, too. Because I get to like yeah. shop and not shop at the same time. Exactly. Yes. But we actually, I just introduced you to this like right before we went live. No, Facebook this. introduced me okay, to this. First true. of all, okay, let's go through our list. I went through the basic list of everything. I checked out Hot Topic. I checked out Box Lunch. I checked out Launch Fly. Nothing new. Same stuff, not a surprise. But if people are curious about it, what can they do? They can what? listen to last week's episode where we talked That's about true. it. That's true. We talked about a couple of things. Like Launch and, Friday has the same six things. And check it out on nexuspodcast.com. Oh, oh good job, babe. All right. <laughs> Pitching our podcast in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> No, it's yeah, I do. Uh, okay, so as we were prepping notes, Facebook read my mind because we were like finishing up a few things before we started recording, and it mentioned this ad of Ult Ult. No, and I was like, Jimmy, do you know what this is? And you're like, Oh, what? Blah 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 blah. So what is it? You've known of this company? It's just like a streetwear brand that has uh, collaborated with Overwatch League. And that's basically it. <laughs> I said, yeah. No, okay. So, yeah, he has the website up. It's Alt ULT. Um, and Facebook had this ad of like these really cool doodle collection jerseys or, or designs. I'm like, that looks really, really cute. So I checked it out, and there's like stuff coming out. So it's going to be added to my list of like weekly check ins because who doesn't want some good Overwatch League stuff? Mm-hmm. And I may have dropped a few expletives when I discovered that they have team outfits and themed stuff so like gladiators is what i'm looking at because purple is a glorious thing and um they also have valiant which is what you were looking at with the new and the old colors which i do appreciate yeah, the green. I, I find it interesting that the the green colors are still there because it looks good it does look good. It looks so good i'm not gonna lie um but they also have the doodle collection do can you pull it up the Doodle Collection is what really caught my eye, and it's they're coming out with like even a new Tracer one coming soon. Um, so I'm excited for that. And the price ranges aren't that terrible, like $35 to 80 bucks for most of their merch. Um, and I love the fact that if they don't have your size, they will update it. Like they'll send you an email. But the real like kryptonite was right before we started recording. We had to both stop ourselves because for this week, Cyber Week. Uh, when's the end of this week? December what? December, I don't know, 5th? 5th, yeah. Um, I don't know if it goes to the 6th. It doesn't say. A code, coupon code, uh, shop, 40 shop, 40 shop, gets you 40% off their stuff. And I like, totally made a small cart of like some Gladiator stuff. So um, good on you, Facebook, for reading my mind. And uh, Ult Esports, I like your stuff. Like, it's it's very chill, like, comfortable wear, but it's also, like, it's logos all over the place. It kind of reminds me of, like, that Louis Vuitton style. But, um, oh, man, they got some good stuff. They have some really cool stuff. And, and if you ever remember the baseball jerseys they did mm-hmm. um, you last loved those. season, I, th- I think they were, they were the one who did those. Yeah. And well, I, love I how almost pulled the trigger on those. Almost. If you had the... 40 shop coupon code that'd be amazing oh it'd be easy but i do love how they even have like the the casters like modeling some of the clothes like that was oh pretty yeah cool. yeah so that's new to me i'm checking it every week because that is amazing um and then i came out like checking in today jinx has some world of warcraft t-shirts for shadowlands which is really cool because i love me some jinx shirts mm-hmm. jinx shirts there we go um, so the first one, there's actually seven different new ones that are new to us at the very least. And I, you know, I wish there was almost like an RSS feed or something for this stuff. Yeah. Um, six different shirts. Uh, the first one is Sylvanas in her glorious Banshee Jailer. Uh, how, uh, what's the look? What does that face tell you? If that was an emoji, what would her face be saying? Stoic? Mm, <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, pissed stoic, like angry stoic. It's Sylvanas. Yeah. It's, it's, it's what her MO is. Um, and it has like the cool scar across her eye. Oh, yeah, so I love that scar. So good. Can't wait to hear more Sylvanas lore in this game. Um, so that's out and 20 bucks. The next t-shirt we saw was the, I call them the Swolkins. What are their names? Owlkins. The Owlkins, the yeah. Swolkins. Um, Stewards of Bastion, we're here to help. And it looks really cool. Uh, <laughs> another $20 t-shirt. Why not? Soft gray shirt, you know. Um, next one is Bolvar in his like awesome flaming glory. Now this is interesting. They did like a dark gray shirt when he's already like black and dark gray. So he kind of blends into the shirt. In the shirt. So you just see the glowing of the fire, which is kind of cool. And they even have like the Shadowlands logo on the bottom, like in this orange color, like orange mm-hmm. color. So um, that's a really cool shirt, especially if you love some Bolvar because his model's amazing. Like, just in, insane. Uh, next one is the Winter Queen of Arden Wheel. And this is really, really cool. I'm excited for Arden Wheel. I think you'll really, I know this is slightly a tangent, but I think you'll yeah. really enjoy this zone. You were telling me to, like, check it out. There's a few things I, like, I'm eager to go see by your recommendation. Yeah, like, the yeah. end of it is just... Mind-blowing? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard like Arden Wheel is like very much WoW lore, and that is like my favorite thing ever. So, did you like Legion <clears throat> lore? Yes, I did. Okay, then you mm-hmm. will love Arden Wheel. Mm-hmm. I've heard some, That's some like rumors. like a slight oh, spoiler much. slash hint. Oh, okay. Oh, I heard there's some siblings. That's all I heard. That's all I heard. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next one is <laughs> Ragnaros. Ra- say it for me. Ragnaros. 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 You have the cereal, right? Yeah, I have the cereal somewhere. Did you ever eat the cereal? Yeah. Okay, it was just Fruit Loops. I, yeah, it was literally yeah. just branded Fruit Loops. It was awesome. Um, we still have the box. Yeah, Ragnaros. Oh, I'm keeping that box forever. Of course. Um, it's a it's like a whitish gray t-shirt and another twenty dollar Jinx t-shirt. Um, I almost feel like this could go for like classic, but then is he in classic? Ragnaros. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Babe. <laughs> <laughs> he's a classic right yes, yes Thank he's you. the first raid hey Molten we Core. dated for like five to ten years before i took i played well five years two years it was a little bit it took me a while to get into wow okay you were a hardcore i was not i've taken you through molten core before shut up it's Thank okay you so much okay and he's not even very fair he's in multiple expansions thank you yes that's what i was <laughs> So there's a Ragnaros t-shirt. Moving on. This one I know is a classic. Anixia. It's also the first tier of rating in World of Warcraft. Yes, exactly. So you want some like Ragnaros or Anixia. And it's kind of like a cool <sighs> cartoon vintage uh, vibe to the designs. So it's kind of like a casual uh, nerdy rep for it. And I also like how you can see the like little characters underneath. Oh, yeah. Like fighting them. Um, so those are actually some really cool shirts from Jinx. That's cool. I would definitely, like, if it was at BlizzCon, I would totally have bought and those. I kind of like it's, like, faded and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is probably stuff that was set for BlizzCon. Oh, man, yeah. I'm sorry. 100%. Oh, jeez. Oh, mean this. zooming in there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's some new Shadowland t-shirts, uh, World of Warcraft t-shirts from Jinx, which I'm thrilled about because I love me some Jinx. Um, definitely keep an eye out for coupon codes because they usually have them. Or download Honey. Um, okay, here's a big one. Oh, okay. Blizzard Gear Store. They actually came out with a whole collection of this new to me clothing brand. It is a company that's been around for a long, long time called Antigua. Mm-hmm. And this Antigua is like basically they have on their website, it's called Premium Golfing Gear, I believe it's called. Wait, what is this? Okay, so they part of their, uh, it's sport gear. And so when you go to their website, it's like a lot of golfers and like, it's almost like Patagonia meets sports, like besides surfing. Mm-hmm. Um, but they signed up with Blizzard apparently, and they did this huge contract, I guess, uh, to have professional World of Warcraft or Overwatch logoed t-shirt or outerwear or t-shirts, jackets. I couldn't put words together. Um, so here's the thing. There are so many, there's like three or four pages on the Blizzard gear store of these alone. So it's a really simple design. Upper left corner, there's a logo of either an alliance, a horde symbol, or overwatch. 
that's like the only way you know it's a nerd clothing line. But they have a wide array of stuff. They have men and women's clothing and big and tall sizes, which it's, is pretty it's cool. It's ner- nerdy, but subtly nerdy. It's like professional. I'm just going out to go get groceries, but I am a nerd if you recognize a symbol. Or business casual. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Like I could wear this, this totally. polo at work. I could wear that to school. Yeah, and then if the kids knew, they knew. Like, you knew. Um, the prices range from, like, $50 to $115. Um, they are, right now, currently on a discount code, which ends in, like, 20 minutes because, oh, no, it's a new discount code from the Blizzard Gear Store for another 21 hours. Never believe anything we say about discount codes on just, the Gear Store. Just, just get it. Some mess. Yeah. Um, so now the new promo code is master because a half an hour ago it was the word shadow. So, okay. Um, but they are discountable, which is nice. So you can get them as cheap as $38 um, if it's on a promo code. But they range from like $50 to $100 to $15. But they look like premium stuff. They have polo t-shirts. Oh, here's the main thing. The color themes of these are black, darkish navy blue, uh, gray, and white. There is no like red t-shirt which i was like for the whore you want to have like a red t-shirt no um they have polo shirts or polo t-shirts three quarter sleeve women t-shirts or sleeveless polo t-shirts which i did not know was a thing but if you're a golfer that's what makes a lot of sense um they also have okay there's a whole bunch of different types of polo shirts there is a quest stripe polo a full sleeve polo and a balance polo I did not know these clothing apparels. I am it's not that sophisticated. Um, they, ha- they do have full zip-up hoodies. Um, the prices range from like men and women's sizes, so I'm assuming different quality types. Um, they do have a full zip-up jacket without the hood, and that's very like professional kind of look for you. Um, they do have a golf full zip jacket. What makes it a golf jacket? I don't know, but it is. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they have a fortune half zip jacket. So it goes like to the middle of your breastbone, I guess, for men and women. And a revolve full zip jacket. So what's really nice is that if you find a style that you like, because they have all the different styles, you can get it in men and women sizes. Um, and the big and tall size especially. The prices do range from each of those, mm-hmm. depending on the materials. Um, but yeah, it is very much like, I feel like if you were to go to Blizzard campus and you just walk around the place if it's not a t-shirt i feel like everyone would be wearing these things <laughs> right yeah no like, i definitely agree if you're at a convention and they're all wearing those like polo t-shirts and like they're all like you know buttoned up or they have those like not hoodies but jackets like the zip-up jackets i feel like they, if anything blizzard probably had to deal yeah. with this stuff anyways in-house and now they just made it public some of these photoshops are really bad by oh the of way. course they are <laughs> it's so funny i'm sorry they're stock photos because this company, uh, they've done, like, a lot of collaborations, it seems. So that's why, oh, like, yeah. it's just the logo difference. Um, so it's definitely neat. It's a new company to me. But if you're, like, a business professional, like we are now, because we're adults, apparently. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can invest in, like, staples like this and still have your nerd pride without having to go, like, mm-hmm. straight up hoodie with, like, you know, purple and pink and yeah. lime green. Um, How about for those that don't want to be so darn professional? How about those? I don't know. That's where you go to Jinx. Because <laughs> then you can you can you know have those vintage t shirts and be more casual, but this is definitely like you can no- yeah. share nerd pride with that. What? Well, we're in December. What usually comes out around December to help oh, you're out transitioning with the next year. so well. I was like trying to be like, where are you going with this joke? <laughs> okay, so we I'm more trying to help you. <laughs> you are. I love it. Um, Blizzard Gear Store, and they have their wall calendars for 2021. Um, so they have World of Warcraft for 15 bucks, which is great. And you know, get it now. Ooh, these look really nice though. Yeah, they look really good. I like how they have the, the, the big picture on top of the half, top half of the calendar. But on the bottom, it seems like they have a bar of like other artwork. So like for the first month, it's the first month that you're looking at here. Uh, this uh, is March, March. They have the Pandarian. And then they have like the big one on top and they have like three other small different Pandarian themed, mm-hmm. um, artworks on the bottom. That's cool. You get more pictures for your month. <laughs> yeah. Let's see which one's your birth month. Your is November. I'm November, so I'm Cindergrosa. You're Cindergrosa, and I am May. I am some scourge what armor. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. That's creepy. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Oh, 
All right. Um, oh, let's see if Overwatch is any better. <laughs> you also have Overwatch for another monthly calendar, fifteen dollars. And this one just looks like it's the top half artwork, mm -hmm. um, but it kind of looks like a screen almost. Yeah, it's like screenshots from the cinematics, which are beautiful. So why not? Um, I'm Tracer, your Soldier Seventy Six. Yes, get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, love it. So yeah, um, you get those out, and they don't look like they're on part of the uh, discount. But for fifteen dollars for a calendar, it's gonna come last year all year yeah um and it is 16 months so you do have that going for you it's not just the 12 um so you can probably get it for now right well yeah it shows it starts says now. it has september through december of 2020 Ooh. so you get one month out of it i should get those for you for christmas <laughs> oh man okay um easy christmas gift uh next franchise in the blizzard gear store was new to me i don't know if they had it last week uh is a hearthstone hearthstone Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Uh, Fanatics t-shirt. And it's a cool, like, bluish color. What would you say the color this is? I would blue? say it's blue. Yeah. It's like a bluish, almost purplish color. I'm trying uh, to look to see if it, like, says specifically what color it is, but they don't. describe it. And they, what's really annoying is, like, the only description is, like, this is a special event item. Why? I don't know. Um, but it's a cool logo. It has, like, a bunch of, like, cartoonish versions of Hearthstone. Hearthstone. Characters like Illidan, and you see the um, pirate rogue in the upper left, Jaina, and her like red, and it's like a different, it's almost like the skins. Yeah. Different skins and character cards. It's cool. It's, it's like a cartoony version. It's just like a simple mm -hmm. logo in the middle. Yeah. 25 bucks, not bad. Yeah. Similar to Jinx. Uh, going to the next franchise is. Heroes of the Storm. This one's beautiful. This is a gorgeous art piece. It is Craft Wars Heroes of the Storm artwork. The artist is Luke uh, Manici. Manici. Uh. Massini. Massini. There we go. There's Man no H. Mancini. Me. Mancini. I don't know. Beautiful sorry, work. sorry, Luke. Luke, gorgeous. <laughs> um. So you have like here's the storm, and there's so many characters, and it's like just supposed by like a purplish on the right, and then a blue on the left, and ice crown and Anduin and yeah, and Protoss. this is based off the Craft Wars event that was in game recently, oh. where there were skins that were basically crossing the franchises. Yep. Uh, as you can see here, that's Arthas in a like Kerrigan skin. Oh, that's who it is. Yeah. Oh man, and you have like Starcraft on the right, mm -hmm. and Anduin's wearing. I don't know Anduin's, what. Ooh, Anduin's in um, uh, Prince. I forget What's the his prince's name? name from Starcraft Two. Bad... No, he's a nice one. No, yeah, yeah, the blonde okay. prince from Starcraft Two. With replaced by another blonde prince. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then you have Sonia on the left side. As a I death think knight. that Sonia is a Death Knight. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. This is like multi-layered geniusness. Um, and it's the same type of art. If you love the art print, you can get it in different types. And Artanis is a Draenei armor type. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Um, you can get the different art prints. You can get it as a simple $30 print, or you can go really, really fancy with your wallet and spend $150 to get it framed and put in place for yourself. Um, but just beautiful artwork. And this is that Storm. canvas that they do. They can do a canvases yeah. as well. The, the price range is very between how fancy you want to get with your print. Um, but oh, so pretty. I love that one a lot, actually. And then going to the next franchise is StarCraft on the Blizzard Gear Store. Uh, Protoss Carrier uh, and is done by Peter Lee. Like Star Trek, but pretty with the stars and the it galaxies. <laughs> and... <sighs> it's like hard to describe it yeah. on like an audio podcast. But it's if you're interesting, watching... though, because this is an older piece. You can tell mm -hmm. by the signature in the corner. Really? This was done in 2007. Oh, you can. Yeah. I was like, how do you know it's older? I'm like, that is cool. But, yeah. And oh, it's see. very, like, classic StarCraft. Oh, yeah. Uh, $30 up to $150, depending on how you want to get printed for you. Um, with Diablo, I was kind of giggling about how they had um, oh my God, outerwear with, um, what's the company that we just learned about? Activist? No. Antigua? And so Diablo has a really cool, simple, lightweight hoodie, zip up hoodie. So if you want to be more casual with your, you know, outerwear, this looks really nice. It's almost like a tracker jacket, if that makes sense, with like the stripe across. Mm -hmm. And then the sleeves are just a red cuff. Um, 
And yeah, it's like $55. Once again, get that coupon code from the Blizzard Gear Store to make, you know, save some money on it. Um, I did like this one. And then my favorite, which is this is where I was giggling. <laughs> I don't remember this from last week. A black Diablo sleeveless lightweight pullover hoodie. <laughs> So like how they had last week was the leather jacket hoodie thing, <coughs> uh, motorcycle patches, whatever. Here is like the polar opposite. It's a hoodie yeah. with no sleeves. Because you're you want to wear a devil jacket hoodie with no sleeves. I don't know. So it's, you can wear an undershirt under it, I guess. I don't know. Sure, or you're working <laughs> out maybe. But I was just laughing because of the whole idea of like sleeveless polos. So if you want to be like a rebel on the golf course, wear this. Literally. Um, but that's also like $45. If you have a coupon code, it's cheaper. Uh, let's see. Next one. This was interesting. We actually had to do some Googling on it. I kept looking at all the different franchises. And there are infinite swap iPhone case bundles for each franchise. So there is a StarCraft. There is a Hearthstone. There is a Heroes of the Storm. There is a World of Warcraft. There is a Diablo. And then Overwatch. And so... If you have an iPhone 7 through 12 Pro, it has a case for you. So you can pick what type of iPhone you have and then get the favorite franchise. Like Jimmy just pulled up StarCraft and you can swap out the backs of these. Yeah. So this is like the past five generations of iPhone. So if you've mm -hmm. had an iPhone in the past five years. Unlike me. This should be able to find, find a case that fits for you. Yeah, so I'm like, if you wanted, and it, it's really cool. We looked at the website. It was kind of hard to find their website, swap, swapons.com, swap, O W N Z.com. It's an okay website, but it's basically a simple design case, uh, clear on the back. You have the anti slip grips mm -hmm. on the edges, a uh, hole for the camera, but it's just a simple plastic car that you kind of slide into the back of your case. And that case, scroll down for a bit, babe. Hmm? Uh, yeah, go to the, the, the red one. Nope, yes. nope, nope. One. So you have like a back, a clear backing on the back, and you just kind of stick it on there. How it sticks, I don't know. Um, it's not a sticker per se. I don't know if it's magnetic or what have you. Um, on their website, one of their old cases, it almost had like a slip cover that you kind of yeah. slid underneath. Um, so I wish it was a bit more detail on that one. But if you want to, you know, have a very simple case for your phone, like I'm, I love me my OtterBoxes because I'm clumsy. Um, but this one, I did read on their website that it does pass military grade drop tests. And I use air quotes for that because I don't know what that means. Sounds like marketing to me. But it sounds like military grade <laughs> drop tests. So that if you, you know, you're not as clumsy as myself, feel free to, you know, definitely swap it out. Mm -hmm. I can definitely stick for conventions like in like your favorite one. Oh yeah. Um, I do like with the World of Warcraft one, they actually have like alliance and horde. So like if you just get the WoW one, you get like either your alliance or your horde for it. Um, these range for like forty dollars for four basically different cases for your phone, one main unit, and then four different backing artworks. Um, but then with the coupon codes, it's like thirty dollars. So that's cheaper than an order box for sure. Um, yeah, that was kind of neat to see. Um, yeah, and if you, if you go to the Swap Ons website, you can also make your own cases. So if you find yeah. like some like gorgeous artwork, you can actually print your own. But Blizzard came out with these really cool series. Like Heroes of the Storm is adorable. Um, yeah, that is really cute. Diablo's really creepy with theirs. Because um, that's the Nexomania stuff on there and the posters on that. I love that. And the little chibi versions of each character. Yeah, yeah I really like these a lot, actually. It's almost like I wish I could like just do this with Otterbox. Oh, I know. Oh, you know what's reminds me of? It reminds me of the Disney ones. At Downtown Disney, you can go to that oh, kiosk. Oh, yeah, and you can create your own mm -hmm. there. This is what it reminds me of. That is really cool. There we go. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing on the shop, which was I was noticing as I was, as I was going through each franchise, is that they're offering digital e-gift cards in themes. So if you want to send a 10 through $500 gift card, uh, an e-gift card, you can pick a theme. It's almost like at Starbucks or whatever, you can kind of pick a design. They have a Diablo one, a Hearthstone. Um, Here's the Storm, Here's Storm, Overwatch, Starcraft, Bastion. World of Warcraft. So if you want to go cutesy with your e-gift cards for the nerd in your life, feel free. Yeah. yeah. And that was kind of all I really 
That's all I had for the IRL loots. Not a lot, but kind of a lot. It kind of was a lot, though. A lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff on the gear store, for sure. Yeah, I would definitely love to, like, see the... And I would love to see, like, the quality of it, but knowing that it's a well-known golfing company brand, probably some really good stuff, especially for the price tag. I would think so. Yeah. And, yeah, with that, I think we will wrap up episode 19. That actually went a little bit longer than I thought it was going to go. You spent a half an hour almost talking about Shadowlands. I could talk about Shadowlands (laughs) for so long. And I was hoping Um, that we could just... You know what? When I finish... Through the main storyline, I would definitely well, more love to talk about that. Yeah, to do like some mini episodes of just like geeking out about one game because then it's like it's us talking about our favorite things of the game, not so much the news. Mm-hmm. And yeah. that's where the weekend geek is cool for like weekly updates, but like deep stuff that we're obsessed with. I feel like we could do like little mini episodes, like we point could. fives, <gasps> point five episodes. <laughs> That'd be fun. We could do that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. But yeah, that's it uh, for the this week's episode of the Nexus Podcast with Heather and Jimmy. Uh, 